Welcome back friends. My name is Liz. I am the official craft nerd and I absolutely loved transforming and taking thrifted items, whether it be from a yard sale or from a thrift store and turning it to, into something that is just beautiful and fitting for my home. And I am going to show you how I do it. So for this project, I'm taking these bottles. You can find glass bottles almost at any Goodwill thrift store and guaranteed at some yard sales. People seem to collect these. They use them for a certain amount of time and then they get tired of them. So I thought these two were just perfect. They have this very unique shape and I've had them sitting on a shelf for quite some time now, not having done anything with them. So what I'm doing is taking these awesome uh, screen stencils. I've used these in the past. You guys have probably seen some of those videos unless you're new here, which if you are welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, but definitely take a look at some of my past videos where I've used these screen stencils before. Uh, Plaid makes these. I find them to be super fun, super easy to use as long as you take good care of them. So as you can see, I'm placing it on my glass bottle. My bottle has already been cleaned. I usually just take a little bit of alcohol and wipe down the bottle so it, you know, the surface is clean. And then I'm gonna take some of this paste paint. Now I call it paste paint, it's not actually paste, but it kind of just spreads on nice and thick. You're just gonna use this little um, plastic, I'm not even sure what to call it, and I'm sure there's a word for it. <laughs> But you guys know, like, I don't, I can't think of what it is right at this moment, but it is basically my little scrapey tool thing. Okay. And you're just going to put a layer of that paint on. You're going to scrape off the excess, which is what is really awesome about this stuff because a little can go a very long way. So I'm going on to the second bottle now. I'm taking this different uh, stencil and placing it on there. Now, just a heads up, notice that as I'm putting this stencil on there, it's already looking white. And if you guys just kind of pay attention to that, you're gonna see what happens here in just a moment. So once I'm done putting my layer of paint over my stencil, it's reveal time. This is my favorite part of using this is I'm just going to peel this back. And if it all goes well, my image should be right there. And you guys look at this. <laughs> that is not what was happening here. I was like, oh my gosh, what did I do wrong? Like this is not hard you guys this is so not rocket science it's so easy to do and I'm thinking what is going on like nothing even transferred over onto that glass bottle what I realized was that it had been quite some time since I've used my stencils and again if you've been with me for a while you know that I've kind of taken a few months off I've been a little bit busy with some other projects that I haven't been able to do a lot of crafting lately and so it's been a while since I've used them and there was still dried paint in that stencil. I don't know if I'm going to be able to salvage those two because it was pretty you know I mean it's just there. I'm going to try I'm going to attempt um, and I have some techniques to, to try to do so but I'm going to see how those work and I'll let you know on a future video if it does work out. But in the meantime, I was like, I'm still doing what I want to do with these bottles. So I just found some other stencils. <laughs> Luckily, I have a whole mess of them. I picked a bunch up from Plaid. Oh, such a long time ago. And there's so many that I still haven't even used. And uh, so it wasn't a big deal. I'm like, we're going to still rock it. Now, if you can see there... When I put that stencil on, you can see the color of the glass coming through because that glass actually has like that blue tint. So you see it coming through that stencil. So you know that this stencil is clean and this paint should very easily transfer. Now, again, 
you know, it happens. I am not afraid to show you guys when I mess something up or if I screw something up. And really, in reality, I didn't screw this up. It was just, I must not have thoroughly cleaned <laughs> my stencils from the last time I used them. And that's my bad. That's my own fault. So I made sure this time around after I used these new uh, fresh stencils, I do clean them up. I'm using baby wipes and paper towel and trying to get as much of this paint off as possible. So that way I don't have that same problem the next time I want to use these stencils. But again, just a little bit of that paint absolutely goes a long way. I've had this same jar for many, many months and I have a second jar I haven't even opened yet. And I want to say I used so much less of this than I would just say like chalk paint, Waverly chalk paint. So I go through way more of that than I do with this stuff. That's why I absolutely love this stuff because I feel like it saves you some money. Um, you not having to buy paint all the time. And uh, yeah, I am a cheap person. <laughs> and I say that and I laugh because you guys are my family. You guys know me. You know I have other projects and other things that I do. But I'm all about saving a buck. And that is why I think my favorite thing to do lately is to transform projects or items. Let's put it that way. Transform items that I pick up from yard sales, garage sales, rummage sales, you know, flea markets, uh, thrift stores, Goodwill. And I just make them into something that I'm going to enjoy. So here's what the reveal should be. When you're pulling this back nice and gentle, once it's dry, you have this beautiful image right on your glass. I mean, it just, I loved it. I absolutely loved it. And it's just, it's so clean. Now, again, if you are a little heavy on the paint, just like any other type of stencil, even though this is like a, a self-adhesive, like it will stick and it will lay nice and flat to your surface, you're still going to have the occasional leak. And, you know, if it happens, it happens. Me personally, and especially with this particular bottle, because it was rounded, um, the image still goes on very, very well. But you'll see there's probably some little splooches and splotches here and there that are from leakage from maybe the, the stencil didn't lay as perfectly flat as it should have, but that's okay. Again, I don't care if it's not perfect. I am such a big fan of things with little imperfections because I definitely feel that gives it character. So this stencil turned out beautiful. You can actually, if you wanted to, you could go around the whole entire bottle with that, but I just kind of left it as is. I felt like it looked just fine, just the way that it was. All right, y'all. So you know it wouldn't be shabby chic unless we doll it up a little bit more. So <laughs> I'm going to take some leftover, uh, this, I guess it's like flowers, this little flower ribbon that I've had again in my stash. I have quite a stash of just like leftover odds and ends, bits and pieces from projects from, pro you know, way back when. And I save them. Not that I'm a hoarder. I just know <laughs> I'm going to use them again at some point because for me, Shabby Chic definitely is a recycle type style. Like you're going to use things that you've used before. You can definitely keep those scraps from your ribbons, your, your beads or, you know, your fabrics, whatever it is that you're using for these projects and throw them together and they still look beautiful. They still look pretty no matter what project that you use them for. This would also be the point that I tell you, you guys can decorate these types of bottles or this type of project however you see fit. I mean, you can create your own bows. You can add, you know, more floral. You can do more beads. You can do sparkly things, whatever floats your boat. Definitely feel free to get experimental with it. Do what you guys like. And that's kind of what I'm doing here. Like I said, just taking these scrap pieces creating little bows, you know, and I don't glue the ribbon down directly to the glass. Not that, it, I mean, I could if I wanted to. My whole point is because I like to, <laughs> I guess Frankenstein projects or recycle projects, 
that there may be a point later down the road that I'm like, you know what, I'm gonna change this bottle up again. I can just easily cut that ribbon off and do something brand new. So that was my purpose for it. But if you don't plan on doing something like that or you're making this you know, as a gift for somebody later on, whatever you wanna do, have at it. I just feel like for me, it's just, I don't know, it's a lot easier for me to be able to come back later and rework it if I'm not gluing things directly down to the bottle itself. So I'm just going to do the same thing with this second bottle as well. And the, the, again, do what you would like with these. I'm just going to throw some beads around. Um, you know, these bottles, I'm going to keep them just as is and set them up with like another collection of different glass pieces that I own. Um, but I feel like you could definitely turn these into like, you know, flower holders, vases, <laughs> flower holders uh, I guess if you're doing like fake flowers you can do it like that um, you could put real flowers in them I mean it's actual glass there is you know you could put water in there and do that whole thing um, you could do whatever you'd like to do as far as you know how you want to utilize these bottles I just felt like keeping them plain keeping them empty then whenever the light hits them I think that's probably my most favorite part about glass decor is especially when it's like different colored glass is like this blue one right here whenever the light hits it just lets this beautiful shine out and it's hard to explain unless you actually see it but I think a lot of you already know what I'm talking about so it's just something about it that I love and then having that like stenciled paint on there is going to also kind of give it a little bit of like some shadowing and whatnot and you guys, I don't know. I'm just obsessed. I have this thing for glass lately. <laughs> so I don't know. I may have more projects coming up with it. I don't know. Um, but I just want to thank you guys so much because we are wrapping up here. Thank you so much for being here with me, for watching this quick flip of some glass bottles, turning them into something shabby, chic, and gorgeous. And I really hope that if you're new, I hope you stick around Hit that like button for me leave me a comment and please subscribe you guys i i definitely appreciate you guys being here for sticking around with me and watching this channel and hopefully i will be more on it about getting more and more videos out to you life is super busy and i know most of you guys know that so but until next time you guys i love y'all take it easy stay safe we'll talk to you later bye <laughs>